And welcome back to Let's Play Magical Star Sign. So in between episodes, I basically just went to town, uh, healed up, and ma moved the plants to where I wanted them. And that should be good. Anyways, let's move on. We need to go get that gummy. Hmm, looks like we're the first ones here, actually. Never mind, I lied. And we all know what that's... Yep. Looks like Mudflap is here, too. Hopefully we don't have to face him, because he was kind of annoying in our last battle. Also, I'm not sure if that's a pun name, Albalon. Oh yeah, we never actually saw, we've never actually met Fowler before. I know we have met him. We haven't seen him for a while though. That's right, we beat him on Gren, didn't we? Anyways, we're gonna need that gummy. Hi there. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a pun name or not. Alpanon Demir, Demar. Yeah, no, we can take you. Oh god, no, maybe you shouldn't have taken off the hat. So yeah, I'm still not sure how these two are related. Also, this is probably not the best place to fight. Not even the boss can actually take the stench. But anyways, let's actually, you know what, we could have just run up, grabbed the gum, and gotten out of here. But then we wouldn't have a boss battle. So yeah, let's take on Avalon. Avalon. He looks a lot better in 3D than he does on his sprite. But anyways, just like his brother, his gimmick is... ...being super annoying. Actually, no, that's a good thing. So yeah, basically, he would randomly charm one of your characters, and when a character is charmed, they cannot attack him. Like, in any way. They can still use spells and heal, but other than that, they can't really do much. So yeah, Lassie's got pretty much be on healing duty from now on. And there's no way to cure it. Well, there is a way to cure it, but he has to do it. He can only charm one character at a time. So yeah, Lassie cannot attack. However, what she can do is move the stars around. The planets around. Anyways, he's water elemental, and I happen to move the earth elemental planet right next to its segment. So yeah, now Mocha can pretty much probably two-shot him, honestly. Everyone else just smack him with whatever we have. Honestly, he's not too tough as long as he doesn't charm Mocha. If he charms Mocha, the battle just kind of becomes super long. Sorbet, let's see. Eh, absolute zero. Just him with everything we got. I want to see if we can attack or take him out before he can. Nope. Actually, no. That's not the attack I was dreading. It's annoying, but uh, Lassen can take care of the healing. He has one attack that I am not looking forward to. It's the attack where he can actually remove charm from a character. Unfortunately, it comes at a cost. Also, yeah, fire elemental isn't gonna be very helpful. Anyways, let's see what a good boulder dash will do. Let's even get a spell strike off. Yep, there we go. So yeah, powered up, weakness, everything. And that's almost 4,000 damage. Yeah, about two of those will probably take him out. As long as we can keep him from charming Mocha, we're pretty much set. Uh, let's see, Lassie still can't attack, so just use a healing- actually, no. We can survive another attack. Use a worm on Mocha so he can actually attack again. Alright, so let's do a swap. Actually, how close was the water planet? 
Ah, uh, no, he won't be able to move it there. It's all the way on the other side of the system. You know, a good sh or not shout out, uh, blood money might be helpful here. It probably would have recovered the health we lost last time. Oh well. I might just have a Pico use a frog on him. Although, honestly, no one's in uh, trouble of dying, or in uh, danger of dying right now. Trouble of dying? That's not a phrase. You know what? Pico, just punch him. Hi, plane. Huh. I'm... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. When did Chai get powered up? Huh. I didn't even notice the wood plane was in alignment. But I kind of want to hold off on killing him until he does what... He's not using his attack. And I'm pretty sure Mocha's next. Uh-oh. I also f forgot he can also inflict sick. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Boulder dash. I did get a spell strike off, so... Won't be as powerful. I'm just getting curious, how much does a spell strike do? About a thousand more damage. So yeah, his attack, his other attack that we didn't see, basically he just takes your charmed character and slaps the hell out of them. It reduces them to 1 HP and it also removes charm, at which point he'll just inflict it on another character, so... I guess we were lucky that we didn't see it. But yeah, that battle can either be stupidly easy like it just was, or it can be really long because he keeps charming all your best characters. But, we took care of him. Time to go get that gummy. Alright, so two gummies di- Okay. Right then. Looks like we're being up an otter today. I don't think that- how'd you even get in there with that stench? So yeah, we're having auto soup tonight. Anyways, let's go get him. Oh, hey, Parfait got better. I'm uh, guessing. So which way did he go? There he is. Alright, time to get after him. He can't go too far. The only thing if, if he keeps going that way actually, he'll just end up at the village. A village full of magicians who would probably beat him up because he's trying to steal their gummy. Either way, he's screwed. No, no, no. J just keep fighting. Just ignore us. Free gummy, mine now. Or not. Well, so much for auto stew. Looks like we're having lizard stew instead. Or crocodile. Is he supposed to be a crocodile or a lizard? Alright then. Like I was saying, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be a lizard or a crocodile. I always thought lizard. Although the water elemental thing might point more to crocodile. Then again, there are those lizards who can swim, like those uh, marine iguanas of the Galapagos. Also, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, yep, we are going the right way. That sounds slightly painful. Uh, let's see, where are they? Here we go. Oh, hey, good. Parfait's okay. Actually, I kind of wonder, was she there uh, right after the boss battle, or was it during the boss battle when she got up? I kind of want to go look and look at that again. Oh, uh, but wait, no, we, we need that. Well, I guess we're being up a cat then. Fine, we had better, better actually ask for this one instead of stealing it. 
Although the dwarves did give us the fire one. Mostly because they kind of want to use it on our rocket. Also, yeah, pirates don't scare me anymore. You guys are kind of incompetent. Anyways, let's go get permission to get that water gummy. And it should probably heal up at some point. But we can do that later. Right now, we need to go see the headmaster. Also, this is a pretty tiny school. It's only three rooms. And one of them is the headmaster's office. Oh, awesome. So yeah, we got the water elemental, or the uh, water millennial gummy. That's two down, three to go. So now all we need is wood, wind, and earth. We have fire and water, so now we can make steam. Wonder what would happen if you smashed the gummies together. Probably something bad. Mocha, you don't eat. You're a robot. But anyways, before we go, we should probably grab dinner. Apparently we're eating in here. Anyways, let's talk to everyone real quick. And it sounds like everyone wants to know more about Miss Madeline. Which is kind of understandable considering she's a point, or the entire reason we're out here. It is kind of easy to forget that we are trying to rescue our teacher. Which is the reason we all went to space in the first place. Alright, let's talk to Ma Headmaster Sturgeon. I'm guessing she learned. She was a student, probably. Or maybe she taught. So yeah, like we said before, Miss Madeline is about, probably around 900 by now, if that timeline's accurate. Also, apparently she has the power of a god. Kind of makes you wonder why she became a high school student, or high school teacher. Ah, that might explain your alumni list. Apparently the universe is aging, but that would happen in any universe. And considering the age of the universe is measured in like billions of years, I don't think we have anything to worry about for quite a while. Anyways, we should probably get to bed. Lastly, you should probably eat something other than candy. That can't be good for your teeth. Oop, nope. Didn't want him to talk to Mocha again. Well, time for bed. We've talked to everyone. And we got our gummy, so in the morning we'll have to head off the planet. Also, where's the rest of the party? Oh, there they are. Uh, I just noticed something. Okay, guess I'll share a bed hole. Those do not look comfortable to sleep in. Well then, that can't be good. Sir, babe, maybe you shouldn't read that. At least we're assuming she's reading the Book of the Darn. For all we know, she was reading the dictionary. 
you know what, let's just believe that she was just reading the dictionary and looking up the definition of absolute zero. Well, that happened. Alright, let's get out of here. Hi there. Uh, sure. Tropica is on Gurn the Wood Planet, I believe, so... Looks like we got our next destination. And we still need the Wood Elemental Gummy, so... Two birds with one stone. Anyways. Let's just head back to the ship. Whoop, alright. Let's head back to the ship. Uh, I think we have a warp point near there. We can warp right now. Yep. So, back to the wood plant. We haven't been there for a while. Let's see. Yeah, we've been to about two plants before we've gone back there. So, back to Grin. Gurn. I always pronounce it Gurn for some reason. You know it should be Grin. And I think we're all healed up. So back we go. Also, you would think we would land like near the, the actual village instead of the same place every time. Eh, maybe the navigational computer is just designed like that. So anyways, we want to head to Tropica. I believe, never mind. I believe we have to walk. Because for some reason, Pizza's just not doing his job right now. So, uh, things look peaceful here. Don't really see the problem. Oh. What's going on with the village? Didn't we take care of the whole you guys kidnapping magicians thing? Oh, that's not good. So, um... The planet that's basically a giant wooden forest is on fire. Also, it looks like Durham came back, apparently. And he's still a jerk. Good to know. Oh, she took such good care of that plant. But yeah, uh, it is kind of looking a bit more smoky than usual in there. And it looks like the space police are here too. Of course they are. So yeah, we should probably go look for her. And uh, let's see what's going on up here. They said there was someone weird here. Oh, hi there! How did you do this? You're a water, uh, water mage. Even Pico can notice that. Eh, Yadra Salad. So yeah, for once, he apparently didn't start the fire. That being said, this can't be good. Yeah, this entire planet's a giant forest. Actually, I think the planet itself is made of wood, so we should probably do something about the fire. But I think we'll do it next time. So next time on Let's Play Magical Star Sign, we're probably going to have to, you know, put this fire out before it spreads to the actual planet and before it heads to the, the giant tree. So, till then.